place where the land may see There is a home so sweet, the house of an artist With something to show us, painting pictures of brush and pen Up on the paper in a book that's so beautiful It is a joy to read because the stories you find In this book of wonders are some of the most amazing you will hear For the stories were inspired over the ages By God's Holy Spirit who guided your writers long ago John is the friar's name, and you will find with him three friends so special having fun all together. Renata, Leopold, and Tim, who want to share with you all the good stories that the friar John would tell. And if you like, you can join these four friends and maybe stay for a while, and together we will play. Or perhaps you would like to join in the chorus. No need to worry if they sing a little out of tune. If you prefer to play with the smallest, come to a you can enter too. So come, we are waiting in this holy place. We're really sure that you want to hear the stories of Fry John. The Prodigal Son. Hi, Renata. Hello, Father John. Renata? How did it go with your friend? Great, thanks. But is anything wrong? Um, no, no, nothing's wrong with me, no. Um, uh, Father John, what happens if someone finds a purse in the street? They should find the owner and give it oh, back. Um, what if there's money in it? One more reason to give it back. Um, well, what if it doesn't belong to anybody? That's impossible. Um, but if there's no name, it means nobody owns it, right? Someone must own it. Oh, but what if there's no name in it? Then you should hand it to the police and they'll find the owner. Oh, um, but what if you don't hand it in? Well, that would be like stealing it. Oh, stealing. Hmm. Oh. Why so many questions? Have you found a purse with money in it but with no name? No, 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 no. I, I haven't found a purse. Well... For a while, I thought that's what you meant. Oh, well, well, you're, you're wrong. Hmm. Children, it's time to go to catechism class. Come on. Yes, let's go to catechism class. Renata, come on. Renata, you're going to catechism class too, right? I'm... I'm waiting for my friend. But there'll be confession today. Do I have to confess? Well, if you want. I, I already confessed last year. But I'm sure you've done something that you regret since then, haven't you? Um, so are you coming? I can't. I have to stay and wait for my friend. Why don't you wait till she gets here and then bring her too? OK. OK. I'll wait for you. Let's go to catechism some class. a lot of money. Oh, oh. oh, and the Virgin Mary and Jesus. Oh, oh, and oh, and a rosary. Oh, oh, that must be my friend. Yes, come in. Hello, Renata. How's it going? Oh, not so good, really. I think I'm going to hand in that purse we found. Oh, what? You can't do that. Why not? Because I already bought the chocolates. The guy in the store let me have them, and now I have to give him the money. But can't you give them back? No, because I opened the box and ate some. Come on, Renata. Where do you get the idea you should hand that purse in anyway? There's no name in it. It's yours. Really? Of course. Come on, take these chocolates and give me the money. Oh, I do love mm -hmm. chocolates. Yeah, they're really good, eh? Mm. Mm. Yes. Oh, they smell mm. so good. <laughs> no, I can't take them. I'm sorry. But what's gotten into you? Go uh, on, oh, eat the chocolates. Oh, oh, oh mm. this. Oh, it's oh, it's delicious. <laughs> mm. Yes, they're delicious, huh? Mm, they're really good, aren't they? That's right. Now come on with the money that's left over. We can have some fun, Renata. Come on, chocolate, yes, lollipops, lots of things. Oh, I can't. I have catechism class. Catechism yeah. class? 
to still go to catechism class. And I told Father John you'd come with me. Me? Mm. Go to catechism. No way. I've better things oh, to do. But there'll be confession. Confession? Oh, yes. What if they tell you to hand the purse mm. in? Well, I won't be able to. We'll have spent the money. You see, there's nothing you can do. Let's oh. go and enjoy oh. yourselves. And can we buy more chocolates? Mm. Oh, sure. As many as you like. Gumdrops, chocolate. We're back. We're here. Hello, Renata. Renata, we're here. Father John, where's Renata? Where is she? Oh, where is where she? Where Renata. could she be? Where is, Renata? is she? Not I don't know. Here. No. Hmm. Probably she's with her oh, friend. With her friend. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. that's cool. Let's because stop. now I am Father John, an article in drawing. the book. I'll draw a little more, and then in a few moments I'll talk okay. to Where have you been, Renata? I just went to see if the doctor was on his way. The doctor? What's wrong? Are you sick? Are you sick? Oh, I have a tummy ache. You look bad. Oh, she's okay, come on. Is she sick, oh, Father John? Poor little girl. What happened to her? So you called the doctor? Yes, but Is it's taking sick? a long time sick? to get here. Poor Renata. Renata! A thermometer? Yes! Let me see. Oh, a thermometer? <laughs> for the people? Oh, thank you, Timothy. But this oh. thermometer is not for people. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll use it for something else, OK? Oh, well. Father John, when will the doctor come? My tummy hurts me too He much. is coming. Stay calm. You see? Huh? He's, oh, here. he's here. Come in. He's good. Good afternoon, Dr. Hello, Frank. Doctor. Good afternoon. We called you because Renata has a tummy ache. Oh, Renata. Does your tummy hurt a lot? Too much. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Open your mouth. Let me see. Well, let me see. tell me if it hurts. Okay. Hmm. Oh, she has a tummy ache. Now I'm going to listen to your belly with this stethoscope. Oh, I want Renata to be better. Hmm. Have you eaten a lot of something? No, mm. I haven't eaten a lot mm. of chocolate. Mm. 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 She has the typical mm. symptoms of indigestion. Mm. But if Renata says that she has not eaten too much chocolate... Oh, I see. I think with a dose of chamomile tea, rest, and not eat anything tomorrow, she'll be fine. Very good. Okay? Thank you. Okay. It's a pleasure. Leopold, Goodbye. little Tim. Goodbye, Doctor. Bye. Goodbye, Tim. Renata. Bye. Tomorrow I will come to visit you. Thank you, Doctor. But but aren't you going to give me any medicine? Bye. See you Father soon. John. But he didn't give me any medicine. Well, I haven't told him the whole truth. I didn't say some little details, and of course, maybe he doesn't know what I have. The doctor knows a lot. Well, I just feel so bad. You feel bad. Would you like me oh, to tell dear. you a parable? Yes? Oh, yes, a parable. Oh, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. A parable. A parable. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The parable of the prodigal son. Oh, the prodigal son. He is a son who wasted and squandered all his money on things that are not necessary. There was once a man who had two sons. Oh, my son, please work a little more. The younger son asked his father for his inheritance. <laughs> oh, father, I want you to give me my share of the family's money, please. <gasps> yes, son. <laughs> The father gave him his share of the inheritance. Here you are, son. It was a lot of money. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm rich. Oh, 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 oh goodbye. Within I'm a couple of days, the younger son had packed his bags and set out for a land far away. 
There he spent his money freely on parties and having fun. And some for you. Uh -huh, take it, yeah, take it, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 right up. More meat and more drinks for everyone. Waiter, what's the matter? If you want more food, you'll have to pay me first. You want to pay? Well, take your money. Bye-bye. You no money. Let's You're go. leaving? Let's go. You're going to drop Bye. me just because I've got no more money? Mm hmm. Some friends you are. His money ran out, and to make things worse, there was a severe famine in that faraway country at that time. He was in real need. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, 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 no. Oh. Excuse me, waiter. What do you want? Give me a piece of bread, please. I'm sorry, we have no food left. Food is hard to find these days. But I need something to eat, please. Then you'll have to work. To work? Yes, I could give you a job. Great. Uh, what kind of work? I keep pigs, you see, and I need someone to look after them, to feed them, to what? wash them. Forget it. That's a filthy job. No, 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 no. No problem. I'll soon find someone else. No, don't do that. I'll take the job. I'm so hungry. Then come with me. I'll show you the place. Okay. Uh, and can I have some money in advance so I can eat, please? No way. I don't trust you. Move along. See? You have to feed them. Hey, pigs. Here, pigs. Good stuff. It's your turn. The poor boy went to feed pigs, Goodbye. but was so hungry he wished to fill his belly with the pig's food. But nobody gave him any. Hey, what am I seeing? That food is for the pigs, and there isn't much of it with this famine. You can't eat those husks. <laughs> when he was desperate with hunger, the boy remembered what his father's laborers ate. <laughs> How many servants of my father have bread enough while I perish here in hunger? So he thought to himself, I will get up and I will go to my father and I will say, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I do not deserve to be called your son. Treat me like a slave and at least I'll not die of hunger. Yes, yes, that's what I'll do. Yes, I'll go to my father. And he got up and went back to his father. He travelled all the way back, hungry and thirsty. His shoes were worn out and his clothes were torn and dirty too. While he was still far away, his father saw him <gasps> and was filled with compassion. Mm. He My ran son. and threw his arms My around his neck and kissed him. Father, I have sinned against heaven and against... Quiet, son. Quiet. Come here. Come here. Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him. <gasps> oh. Put a ring on his finger. Oh. Oh. 
and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf, kill it, let's eat and celebrate. For this, my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. They were celebrating with music and dancing and food. When the elder brother came home from working in the field, he heard the music and the partying and the dancing and called one of the servants. Hey, you, come here. Is that music I hear at my father's house? Your brother has returned and your father has killed the fatted calf because he's back safe and sound. <gasps> You killed the fattened calf? Well, I don't want to go to that party. My son, rejoice with us, because your brother is back. Father, for many years I've served you. I've never disobeyed you and always done my best. But you never gave me even a goat to have a party with my friends, and I never complained. And now comes that son of yours who's wasted what you gave him, and you kill the fattened calf for him. Son, you are always with me, and all I have is yours. It was right for us to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Well, this was the parable of the prodigal son. Did you like it? Yes, very much. much. Yes, Renata, yes, is your yes, tummy yes. ache better? Yes, a little oh. bit. Hey, why did the father not get angry when the son had spent all the money? In this parable, the father represents God, who God. is always waiting for us to repent. Not to punish, but to forgive. Well, Dad, do not understand is why the prodigal son left home if his father was so good. That's true. Maybe he had a friend who told him to do bad things. Do you think so, Father John? Well, although the parable doesn't say so, yes, it's possible he might have had a friend who gave him some bad advice. Oh. Sure, he had a friend who told him, go, take the money and chocolate and stuff and, and then we're sad and have a tummy ache. Yes, and sorry for having done bad things. Mm. But Jesus tells us in the parable that the Father will forgive us if ah. we turn to him. Oh, and how can we turn to him? When we confess our sins, repent and ask for forgiveness. Oh, then I want to confess. She wants to confess. Well, you're in luck, because Father Felix is coming back soon. Oh, he's coming here. Oh, good. What if we open a music box while we're waiting? Oh, oh, the music box, the music oh, box. Music how nice, how nice. Oh, let's see, let's see. Open it here. Oh, oh. Oh, look how he's hugging him. There was a man with two sons, an older and the younger one. The older son did what he should. The younger one wasn't half as good. The younger son said, listen, daddy, I want my share of the money. After receiving what he was owed, the younger son hit the road He roamed the world without a care Just like a hobo millionaire Pretty soon his cash was spent On wild parties every cent His pockets and his belly empty Was the end of the days of plenty He found work looking after swine But he was hungry all the time Father smiled and said, Son, now come in 
outside. He dressed him in the finest robes, put new sandals on his feet, on his finger ring of gold, just like the one he had of old. The father ordered preparation of a feast of celebration. There was music, there was singing, and lots of delicious eating. The older son was not so pleased to see his brother so received. Like this father full of joy, welcomes back his youngest boy. God is happy in heaven above, when a sinner returns to his love. In heaven there is much more pleasure, when a lost soul is repenting, than when many good souls take measure, and judge others who need forgiving. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. It was wonderful. I liked it. Yes, I really liked it. Oh, 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 Father Felix. Come in, come in. Come in, Father Felix. Come in, come in. Hello. Hello, Father John. Hello, How are Father you? Felix. Hello. Good to see you. How are you guys? How's it going? Hello, Father Felix. How is How everyone? Are you? How are you? Very good. What about you, Renata? I've missed you in catechism class. I chocolated my belly. I mean, I had indigestion in my chocolates. I mean, I had a tummy ache. Were you a sick girl? Yes, but I'm better. Better now. How can I confess? Sure. Are we going to confession? Okay. Bye bye. While Renata confesses, I could tell you of a saint who was once. A saint, a saint wow. who was a true prodigal huh? daughter. Her name was Saint Hyacinth Mariscotti. She was born in a very wealthy family. Her parents were very pious and educated their five children well. Only Hyacinth departed from the teachings of the church. To correct this, her parents took her to a convent where her sister lived, but she did not live like the other nuns. She built a special cell, luxurious and comfortable, and ate only delicacies. She did not accept advice. She was arrogant and did not obey. She was bored by the prayers. But she became seriously ill, and being so close to death changed her. She confessed all her sins and, full of remorse, she began to do penance. The other nuns were amazed to see the change in her. She did the lowliest tasks and, to humble herself, she kissed the other nuns' feet or asked them to walk over her body to purge her heart of the pride and vanity that had done so much damage to the convent. It hurt her to realize she had offended God and wondered if he would forgive her. And the Lord, just as the father of the prodigal son, not only received and pardoned her, but gave her great gifts. The Virgin Mary appeared to her. When praying, she was so happy and would rise from the ground surrounded by a pleasant fragrance. God also gave her the gift of prophecy. And when she died, miracles happened at her tomb. Well, this was the life of St. Hyacinth Mariscotti. Do you see? We can all become saints. Oh, it's true. We can all be saints. We're here. Hello. Renata, I see you're happy. Yes, from now on, I'm going to confession more often. I'm very happy. Who is it? Well, yeah. Hello, how are you? Hello, Renata. Um, hey, I want to talk to you about something. Hey? Hey, guys. I think we should leave for a moment. A moment? But why? Do you trust me? Oh, okay. Um, it's just that I've been thinking about the wallet. Oh, yes? Yes. What do you think? I'm going to give it back. What? You can't do that, Renata. Yes, I can. You cannot. We've spent the money. No, but not everything. There's still a lot of money and the owner must need it. But there's no name. But we must try and find out. We can do Who it. Who told you that? I bet you confessed to that priest and he told you to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it as my penance. I promise. Oh, no. What a 
disaster. But who are you calling? The store where we found the purse. The store? No, Renata, you can't. Oh, hello. No. Is, is this the store of Mrs. Perez? Uh, no. Yes? No. Um, no. Has there been a person asking for a wallet? Yes. Oh, no. What is this? Yes, what a lady. Yes. No, no, no name. Oh, oh. oh, good. Because, you see, we found it. Yes, my friend and I, and we want to return it to its owner. Oh. Yes, I think she'll be happy. Oh? Oh? <gasps> it's all her money for the whole month. Oh, poor thing. Yes, well, we'll bring it this afternoon. You're welcome. I just want to do the right thing. Mm, thanks. Goodbye. But what have you done, Renata? You're going to return the wallet? Yes, I will take it back. Did you know that money was from a poor old lady and was all she had to live on for the whole month? No, I didn't. But let's not be sad. We've done something good. But how can I not be sad now that I don't have any money? Not for chocolates or anything? How can you be so cheerful? Because I confessed. You can confess your sins too. I'm embarrassed. And I don't know how. But it's very easy. And see how happy it makes you. I feel so good, I feel like singing. <laughs> Listen to this song. Hmm. Mm -hmm. A song? Uh, um. Ah, ah. It's a song of forgiveness. Sometimes I do things that are wrong. Wrong things because my will's not strong. Even if I do them without thinking they hurt others Me and those I love When I sin I go away from the Lord And I feel just like the prodigal son Who left his father's house looking for fun But only sadness and misery he found But the father waits and watches from his home What a beautiful song, Renata. I want to feel that good too. Do you think that Father Felix would hear my confession? Of course. I'll go look for him. Father Felix! And I will live again in his love. Wow, I'm going to confess. Tell me, Renata, what is it? It's that, well, look, my friend wants to confess. Sure. Are we going to confession? Sure, okay. There was a man with two sons, an older and a younger one. The older son did what he should. The younger one wasn't half as good. The younger son said, listen, daddy, I want my share of our money. After receiving what he was owed, the younger son hit the road. Wow. He ran the world with 